Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to pass through your NVIDIA GPU to macOS Ventura. So, let's get into it. So first you're going to need your actual Hackintosh Ventura installation done using the new way, which is using Proxbox Virtual Environment. If you're unsure how to use or set that up, please visit the video on my channel where I show you that. But once you have that, you're ready to continue. So first we need three things. So the three things are Open Core Configurator, Open Core Legacy Patcher, and the custom EFI folder for NVIDIA. So first we're going to download Open Core Configurator. So we open up Safari or the web browser of our choice on the Hackintosh. You want to go to uh, Open Core Configurator and the Mac E100's project. You want to click on that. Scroll down to download here. This site isn't very laid out. Uh, but you want to accept the terms and download the latest version. I've already got mine downloaded, but once you've got that downloaded, you want to move on to the next step, which is downloading an open call legacy patcher. So this is GitHub link. So if you look here, releases, you click that. And then scroll down. Go to the open call patcher GUI app. Allow it. And then wait for it to download. Depending on your internet speed, it could take a while, but hopefully uh, you've got a decent enough speed like me. Then once that's downloaded, um, we're ready to go on to the next part. So you're going to have to join my Discord, which is linked in the description below. So you can see I'm on the Discord now, uh, and you can see we have an EFI section. So underneath here um, will be where the EFI folder is, the link to download it. But once you've got that, uh, we're ready to move on to the next step. So once you download it, it should get a folder like this, the GPU EFI. You want to double click into that, and you should get an EFI folder. Just drag that onto your desktop. Then we're ready to head to our downloads folder. So open up Finder, go to downloads, and open up Open Core Configurator. So that's the one we're going to open first. We're going to go to Tools, Mount EFI. You should have the one that's the Apple Link Vertio Block Media. Mount that partition. Enter your user password. Open it up. And you should already have an EFI folder in there. I want you to just move that to the bin and drag the new one in. Then, once that's in, um, all you want to do is close out all the windows, unmount the partition, quit Open Core Configurator, and then restart your Hackintosh. So, I won't keep you waiting. See you in a moment. So you can see we rebooted, so I'm just going to log in now. Now we're going to need to enable um, VNC. So this will allow us to um, make the screen mirror, because uh, at the moment um, it'll mirror this screen with the actual external display, um, which will allow us to see it on screen. So to do that, go to System Settings, then go to General, then go to sharing and I want you to turn on screen sharing here and note down that IP address so mine's 30 but yours will be different to mine especially if you're on a different subnet so I'm just going to take a picture of mine that's how I remember what IP and then when you know click done and I want you to shut down the Mac so click shut down Then, once it's shut down, we want to go to Hardware, Add, PCI Device, scroll down, and then go to your GPU. Select it, All Functions and ROM Bar, that's all you need to select, and click Add. If it says that IOMMU is not enabled, please visit um, the link in the description below to learn how to enable it. It actually links you to a Windows uh, IOMMU thing, but... Um, it's the same principle how to enable it. Once that's um, passed through, we want to start up the VM again. So we're back in Ventura. So we've got to find it. Now we're going to open up Open Core Legacy Patcher. Or here it's called Open Core Patcher. But we want to open that by right clicking and open to disable the gatekeeper authentication. Um, it's still going to verify, but it won't uh, stop you from opening it. It'll just say that you want, do you want to proceed opening it? 
but once we've verified um, we're ready to actually start applying patches to our GPU or you might call it drivers so if we click on open we can close the downloads folder we'll get a window like this we want to click post install root patch and you can see here Nvidia Kepler and legacy USB um, is um, available for patch now I need to fix this uh, but for you it should work so I actually missed the step out because that will do it for you as well you want to restart macOS and you want to reset the NVRAM um, I actually forgot about that because I've not done this many times um, but yeah we want to wait for it to boot up and instead of pressing enter on macOS we want to scroll across to reset NVRAM and do it I'm going to do it twice to be on the safe side so you should probably too but when we reboot um, we should be able to then apply the patches so I'm going to do it once more and then we'll boot back into macOS so you can see now it's fixed we can just click start root patching it'll ask you to relaunch your root so click yes and then enter your user password so I'm going to enter it and then the program will restart so it's going to download the um, patches for whatever reason um, so I'm just going to wait for that I won't keep you waiting for it so you can see now um, that it's going to patch um, you might get the spinning uh, wheel don't worry about it it will freeze along the way but the patches will be done very shortly so you can see it's telling us to reboot to apply so let's do that let's reboot so we click restart the VM will begin to reboot so if we press enter on macOS you'll see that um, when we get around three quarters of the way sorry about two, two three quarters of the way um, we'll get a display output that you'll see very shortly um, on the monitor um, but once we've got that display output we can't do much because we need to actually use VNC so I'm gonna uh, load up VNC right now so you can see we're connecting through VNC the username should just be your full name um, joined together but if you're unsure um, let me know but you can see if I move my mouse across you can see the um, two monitors but we want to make that one obviously so once we're loaded in uh, you should see a bar appear at the top on your monitor but we go to system settings and then go to displays all I want you to do is select your second monitor and then click users main display and then um, that's all we need to do you can see on the second display now that we have um, a full view of what's happening and if we just close VNC and open it back up again just to give that a refresh you can see again that we have the second display with my mouse on it also you can have it where if we click that and do mirror we then just get one display on VNC so we've got to about this Mac now on the main display using the cursor on VNC you can see that it now says that there's a GT 632GB 8 gigs of RAM and it doesn't know about the processor yet because we haven't set the right SM BIOS hopefully that um, makes you happy that you've got that sorted out if it does please leave a like and it's mad to think that 95% uh, of you aren't subscribed it's free and it really does help me out anyway thanks ever so much for watching this video goodbye